Okay, step number three, apply the slice theme to the worksheet. Page layout, themes, slice. There we go. Step number four, we need to edit the worksheet data, edit the tile, and in cell A2 dis to display monthly cells by department. So A2. Monthly sales by department. Edit cell D six D six to nineteen fifty. Okay. Step number five, select cells. A1 to F2, A1, so I hold down the shift, move, use the arrows over and then down, that's an A1 to F2, and click the alignment launcher, okay, click the horizontal, arrow and choose center across selection press ok All right. step number six select and delete row eight so we're going to select row eight by clicking left clicking on the eight here and then to delete there's a couple different ways of doing that uh, you could probably right click and press delete, which is probably the easiest. Step number seven, use the fill handle to complete a series. So select B3. Okay, it's B3. Use the fill handle to complete the series to week four in column E. So that's the fill handler right there. Once you get that little arrow or that little cross, hold down your left mouse button and then drag across. And right now you can't see it, but the second one says week two, this one says week three, and that one says week four. We'll see that in just a minute. Okay. Auto fit cells C to E to display the complete level. So let's select C and then hold down shift, right arrow, right arrow. And then we put the little, uh, make the little um, auto fit symbol thing there and then double click. And notice that that changes it to two, three, and four. It makes the width a little wider. So step number eight, use the sum and the fill handle to calculate totals. Use the auto sum button to build a sum function in cell F4. Okay. Use the auto sum. Okay, that's a little different than the way that I usually do it. Um, what I normally do is I would use an equal sign and then use the values here that we want to sum up. So we want to sum up B4, C4, and D4 and E4. So we'd say B4 plus C4 plus D4 plus E4 up plus E4. That comes to 1300. Now using the auto sum, okay, now using the auto sum, you could do the same thing by going to formulas, and then here's auto sum. Automatically add a quick calculation to your worksheet. So let's go down to the next line. 
I'll show you how to do it this way. We want to sum, and we want to sum actually uh, what I had selected there wasn't the right thing to select. Really, what should be selected is this value here, B4, comma, and then select your next column, and then hit the comma key, then the next column, comma, and then that. So you select your four columns like that, and then you press enter. I like the first way better, but you may like that way. It's really up to you. Then we need to use the fill handle to copy the formula in cell to the rest of them. So uh, one thing we could do here is what I like to do is to get the little cross thing and then drag it down like this. Some of you though may not want to do that. You may want to just do uh, get the little cross thing and then do a double click. It does the same thing. Notice here it does the total two here because these are all sort of zeros there and technically we're only supposed to do it from F5 to F16 so doing it the second way causes an issue but there's a way to fix that you just hit delete you know click that cell and then press the delete button so it's up to you you get the same result either way okay then we need to delete the contents of F17 if you copy the formula to that cell okay now we did that, select the cells B17 to F17, B17 to F17. So the way I like to do it is to select B17, hold down shift and hit the right arrow. You may want to use your mouse, it's really up to you. Then you want to click the auto sum button, click the formula, uh, sum formula, and a quick analysis options button appears. For me that actually, well, uh, this is the quick analysis button here. Quickly and easily analyze your data. Uh, you can click the escape button to get rid of that. Step number nine is format cells and values. So we want to select A1 and A2. And increase the font size to 18. And I'm wondering if something isn't right uh, with this. Notice that these aren't merged together. Okay, one thing that may be missing is merging some of these cells together. Um, okay. Um, Okay, right now I'll just follow the instructions. I may have to go back. So A1 and A2. Select this to be 18. Okay, all right. So that is fine the way it is. Notice that some of the text here is uh, not being shown. It's up above here. I think the next row, uh, the next instruction solves that. Increase the row height of rows 1 and 2 to 24. So select A, L1, A2, and then get your little um, row height thing. And you can change this to where it says 18 or where it says 24. Notice you can also go up here to your format and do your row height, do it that way as well. The row height, we actually want it to be 18. So, uh, center the data in cells B3 to F3, B3, oops, format cells A3 to F3 as bold, so highlight all those and click the bold button. Uh, 
and increase the font size to 18. So what I'm going to do just to give me a little bit of a little more control is do it this way because with the mouse sometimes it's difficult to do. And then I also for these I made a mistake. That shouldn't be 18. That should be 24. I was reading the wrong line. Sorry about that. That should be 24. So click on OK. Notice that, that changes. All right, center the data in cells B3 to F3. So come up here where it says center. That centers the data. Then we need to format cells B4 to F16. Comma style. So we go up here. And let's click here. Ooh, never mind. I think what we want is comma style right there. There we go. Comma style and decrease the decimal two times. It's increase. This is decrease. So what they're wanting it to to do is be in just dollar amounts, not the cents. Cents is in C E N T S. That kind of cents, dollar cents. B17. So select B17 to F17 and apply the accounting number format with no decimal places. So I think the way around that is to decrease the decimal, which makes sense. If this data up here is not going to have decimals, then this down here shouldn't have decimals either. Okay, apply the all borders format to cells A3 to F17. All borders like so. Auto fit B to F like so. Notice that all the data is showing up now. Okay, step number 10 finalize the worksheet. In click the insert tab. Insert tab and click the header and footer. Header and footer button under the text group. Header and footer. In the right header section, insert the sheet name. So this is the right and thing. Go up here and click on sheet name. Go to the footer. Footers, click that, and click the right section. Type your first and last name. So I'm going to type in my first and last name. And then click a cell on the worksheet and then return to normal mode. I think we do that by going down here and clicking normal. All right, there we go. Center the worksheet horizontally on the page. I think the way to do that is print page setup. And center 
horizontally on the page, like so. Okay. Step number 11, copy and rename a worksheet. Right-click the January worksheet. So we right-click this down here, and then choose Move or Copy. So we choose that, and then make a copy of the worksheet at the end. Rename this to February. Go up, right click, and then choose rename. M-E-B-R-B-A-R-Y. Okay. Format the February sheet tab color to dark blue. Tab color. Dark blue accent one. It's in the fifth column. So like that. Delete the values in cells B4. To E16. So we select that and then press the delete button. Return to the January sheet. Press control. Home takes us up to the top, and then we preview it. So we look at it. Okay, everything looks good for step number 12, and save the worksheet. And that is it.